open up YouTube again and we get this beautiful little like carousel type of look here. I gave you guys a sneak preview like a week ago of how I made my Nexus 7 look. So if you're running a stock Nexus 7, you're not going to see the same keys down here. You're going to notice that my notification is still not the same as yours. Buttons are not laid out the same. As you see here, things are different. There's different setups of looks that you can get with this custom ROM. A lot of custom ROMs do this and not necessarily that Jolly Baked is the only one that does this because there's lots of different ones that you can change the pixel density and that'll make the whole entire experience look different. Like you make it look like a phone, like a 10.1 tablet, whichever it could be that way. Now what I'm going to do before I get into the change of what you can do with this Nexus 7 with this custom ROM, I'm going to go into a few programs. Now you see here, this is the layout of the YouTube. So if you want to click on one, you can be able to click in through there. There, sliding over get to you know my profile clicking on here then it'll jump into all my videos that I got going on through there so that's the look of it let's launch one and this yes. video is the front the facing camera right on the here. Nexus no, 4 that. I have it left it's on where you can keep swiping to the left face. and to the right but this is like the whatever. YouTube type of look right we already know that I will show you the difference in a little bit let's go into the Play Store and you will notice that in here this is the way it's laid out so it's you know, tablet friendly, looks good, it's easy, it's big. Let's click on apps and let's look at the layout for the app and you will see how it lays it out. Just pay attention so you can see how much different it's gonna all look as soon as I do the other thing. So this is like the layout of the Google Talk now. Let's go into my Gmail and you will see the Gmail. This is how it looks and this is how we're gonna navigate. So go back and there's nothing moving back and forth. Pay attention, notification drop. And we go into the settings. We're gonna see this is how it's laid out. Everything works super fast. I love this custom ROM. It's my favorite. I love the, all the customizers that you can go to. You're gonna go into the bake ROM control and you got a whole bunch of changes that you can do in there. As you can see there, if you can read it or not, all the things that you can change on this and it's just perfect. I have no problems whatsoever with this ROM. And then the fact that you can orientate to the landscape mode and use it this way as well. Notification is huge go into here and you see we can go through all my applications go back into YouTube and you see the layout that was laid out a little bit differently because it's wider opens up a little bit more things go into the Play Store a little bit different still go into Gtalk and you will see that it lays it out just a little bit different as well and if I were to try to chat with someone this is how I'd be seeing it let's go into my settings and the settings just look wider and that's pretty much it now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into baked control and I want to go into where it says system settings and I want to go into force tablet UI I don't have to click on that right here it'll say current LCD density at 240 I want to change that now what I did is accidentally do it I went into change the value and I changed it to 160 so 160 is where you want to go wrong control gave permissions and I want to go into the reboot and I'm gonna let it reboot and that means it's just gonna restart is that it's just like if I turned it off and turn it back on it's just a quicker way for them to do it and we'll see the difference here in a little bit it's gonna turn it here so I'm just waiting and then right here we can see that it launched so therefore now I got a little different thing. I should have showed you the lock screen. I forgot about that. But now let's unlock and take a look at the difference. Do you see anything different already? But you see now? Now I got a different notification area here. Let's remove that. And it is in the tablet 10.1 user interface. So it's like you get that experience of a tablet. Just by clicking that, that's how simply and quickly I went into that. And then we got the same look through here. But we see the bottoms. We get to here. Um, we get the little sidebar where you can change there of all the recent applications. And now look, we have no notification up there because it is on the very bottom. Clicking on there, go, oops, go into the settings, or there it goes. That was the settings. And we got the toggle buttons there. And we got the brightness and dim down there. So now let's open up the YouTube. Now YouTube just opened, and this is portrait mode. And this is how it just changes. I didn't have to do any application changes or anything. All I did is the LCD density change. And that's what I get the experience of looking at it this way. And let's turn it. 
and we get this type of look already. Look at that, I like the way that works. And then we can click on the browse and we see we got different things there we can click on, go into my account, go into my uploads. And we see you can click on here and then it'll pop up as this way. As you see the tablet's actually pretty small so everything is kind of small. It's kind of hard to see if you're kind of blind like me. But you can see here we can scroll through other videos like full screen. Mike White on my lamp, Mike White on my pillow, Mike White on my tripod. Look back, you can pause it, go into your comments and read it as you're watching closet. the video. You can look at the links right here, go into my profile a lot more and see my other stuff through there. I like that YouTube interface of this tablet. I wish they would have kept it for the Nexus 7. Now let's go into the Google Play Store. Now it looks a little bit different. But watch when I click into the applications, click into games. Like for an example, let's type in N64 emulator. It's gonna come up with a whole bunch of them right here. And let's click on this one. And here we go, we can read the description if you want to install from there, and that quick and simple. Go into GTalk. In my GTalk, you see the layout right there. Now we can leave a message right here, read who's online or not message through here and I don't have to leave anything so you get that little look. Click in here, let's go into the settings and then we got the different layout right here. Now you see, differences are, dismiss these right here. So basically all tablet like, another cool part is that with this ROM it gives you the opportunity to do expandable desktop so watch the bottom, I'll make it disappear. So now I get the full on full screen, press actual the back button or making it come back so now I can press back. This Jelly Baked ROM is amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. I love it. For my other friends' tablets, I recommend this one. It just works so good as you see there. Now if you end up not liking it or wanting it anymore, just go into the bait control system settings. LCD density, change it to the 240. That's the one where I had it before this. Let's press reboot. And here we go, let's unlock. And we're back to how I had it before, like the tablet type of feel. I mean, it's not even the tablet feel, it's more like the phone feel. And if you can even go back a few where you can get the Nexus 7 type of feel running. When you first download this ROM, it's gonna give you the stock feeling of a Nexus 7. But with all these customizations that you're capable of doing, how did I find and install this ROM? I use two applications because I trust one and I do another one to download another application. I use ROM Manager. There is a paid version and there's a free version. I don't think you need to have the paid version, but you will see that there's a version here where you want to manage and back up the current ROM. So I always make a backup of my current ROM so in case something bad happens and it doesn't work out, doesn't flash right, I can do you know the power and volume down hold until I get to the recovery mode and you know flash the backup that I, whatever it was. This is one little thing where I come to, but let's put that back and let's go into Goo Manager. Goo Manager is right here. And this is where I come. I go to Browse Compatible ROM so it knows that what tablet you have. And I want to go into Baked. And in Baked, I want to go into Grouper. And Grouper will go into the 6. So it's the Black Bean 6. And that's the version that I'm running right now that runs perfectly fine. No issues. I love it. I don't even want to go to 4.2. There's no point for me to go to 4.2. Because it's running on 4.1.2. Seriously, I don't, I don't even care about 4.2. But you want to download that. I don't use this recovery system because I've had trouble where... I thought I bricked my phone and everything, and, and you, you know, have to flash at your own risk, but I download it from Goo Manager, and then I go into ROM Manager, and I wanna go install ROM from SD card, and I wanna find where it's stored and Goo Manager, and there you see that is Black Bean, and I wanna click on that, and it'll ask me if, if I wanna back up the system, wipe data, and wipe data Dalvik and Cache. If I don't wipe data, that means all my apps and games and information I have will be brought into the new ROM. Now if I wipe the data, that means all of it's gonna restart like brand new, but you wanna always wipe down the cache so that nothing happens and everything processes good. But that's how I did it. 
And uh, since there's no battery pulling on this thing, make sure you have enough battery on this so you don't want to flash it while it's going to be dying. You don't want it to run out of battery while it's trying to flash this up because then that's when trouble happens. I didn't even go through telling you how to change everything other than that's how you change to and from the tablet user interface to the you know stock Nexus 7. But there you guys have it. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope I really helped some people understanding this and wanting to check out new ROMs. Like I said, you don't have to use this ROM. There's lots of other ones that will work just fine you just got lots of little things that you can change and do all right guys please rate my video comment let me know how you liked it if it's gonna work for you something else to try or what to recommend and help people out in the comments if I don't get to them first and don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos that I got Alrighty, I shall see you guys next time later